Oh yes, we're still doing this, and we're not even close to being done yet. We spent some time uh, over the last couple of days doing some more interesting things though, so you watch that. I'm going to continue to spread stuff on plywood. But all spring, the kings have been, well, you've been buying them. They're kind of a small average, you, you know what I mean? Right. But it's springtime, you know. My little brother, he just had a good trip. Did he sell that to you or did he sell it to us? Andy? Right, yeah, you know. Look in his stomach. Friggin' empty! Oh wait, there's some there. Squid? There is empty. It's an empty stomach. We could have got a couple more. See, that makes a difference because a lot of times they're just chuck a lot full of food coming out of their mouth. No. Okay, what do we got to do, Chuck? What do we have to do? Well, first off, these two pieces got a coat of a second coat of penetrating epoxy this morning, and they are dry to the touch now. And they get moved over to this table. That piece and this piece need some touch-up sanding, and then they're ready to go. So this one moves over here. Those two pieces get flipped over and they are ready to paint. Okay. And then these are ready to paint. So what we're going to do is we're going to move these off, turn those over, move that one over, and then everything gets uh, either white paint or varnish in the case of this. I don't know if you're going to paint or varnish. I'm going to paint that paint. So portion we're this side. there and yeah. then varnish the other side. Actually, don't even have to paint this. Paint this side, yeah. Okay, that's what we, that's what's up. Yeah. It's been a busy weekend. They just announced the winner of the fishing derby a short time ago. I know. Yeah, Mickey, Mickey Knight won the Chamber, uh, Petersburg Chamber of Commerce annual salmon derby. It's the 35th annual. 35th salmon, annual salmon derby. With one of the smallest winners ever at 37.6 pounds. We are never going to hear the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. But it was a fun event. Uh, it ran for what? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then ended, ended at five o'clock. Five o'clock today. Five o'clock today. Yep. It was fun. The whole town gets involved. Laura and I volunteered at the weigh-in station for two days, so we did uh, four shifts. Yeah. At the weigh-in station, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Good people. It's always fun listening to the fish stories, and uh, it's a family event mm -hmm. in town. Good fun. Yep. And now? So, and now I'm going to start sanding and uh, start plotting and planning. Dr. Hill just got back from Cordova yesterday, and we're going to start getting the Halley ready out to go, go yeah, ready to go out again. Yeah, it's almost time for to make a run down to Prince of Wales Island, yep. down to Thorn Bay. So we're going to try and get the boat on the grid on Friday night, probably. Halley on the grid, not our boat. Yeah, not, not our boat. boat. Not the boat, Hallie. Hallie. <laughs> <laughs> Goes up on the grid. I haven't seen what time the tides are, but it's probably going to be midnight or so. 
<laughs> I, I, you know, I don't even know. I think yeah. um, you got to bring it in at high tide. Be by Friday, it should be like three o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. Oh, it'll be. Oh, that'll be nice. Last time we put it up, pretty it sure, was pretty sure midnight. high tide is going to be by Friday around three o'clock. Cool. Yeah. I can live with that. Good. All right. Where's the sanding block? It's all over there. I cleaned it up a little bit. All right.